In our next example, we have 3x minus 6 smaller than 0. We can solve for x by moving the 6 to the right hand side and that will become plus 6. And if I want to find the value of x, I would divide both sides by 3. So if I divide both sides by 3, I have x on the left smaller than 2. Now we consider a number line starting from 0 with positive values on the right hand side of 0 all the way to infinity and negative values to the left hand side of 0 all the way to negative infinity. And we want to find where x is smaller than 2. So first we locate 2 on the number line. So I indicate that with an arrow pointing towards the left. And this can also include 1.5 negative a half, negative 1.4, and every real value that you can think of towards the left of 2. Notice that 2 is indicated with an open O, meaning we do not include 2. So x can be any value smaller than 2, but it can not be equal to 2. And now my interval notation changes slightly. My minimum value would be negative infinity and my maximum value would be 2 but 2 is also shown with a curved bracket because it's not included.